Laura Ingram, your friend and mine, had on the former president. And you'll see a headline today that Trump names vice presidential list. That's not what actually happened. Laura uh, rattled off a list of names, uh, which right. include Tulsi Gabbard, Ron DeSantis, Tim Scott, Byron Donalds, Vivek Ramaswamy, and Christy Noem. Are they on your short list, Ingram asked Trump. Trump said something like, sure they are. Everybody is. They're all solid. And I've always wanted to say to people with common sense. So I want you, Suburban Mom, focus group of one, what's with the Tulsi Gabbard thing? Ah, you know, I look, I think Tulsi Gabbard is an interesting thinker. She has bucked Democrats in the past. I think that's probably what he's part of what he's responding to. I like her personally. She has a conservative parents, which I think is interesting. I've met them as well. Uh, but I think that's part of what he's responding to. He has the same, uh, she has the same uh, enemies that he has, I guess, or adversaries that he has and finds them aligned. But can I also say that this is like a Trump tick where he takes too often the premise of the question given to him. And I get that this one, he's not giving much away because he's just saying, yeah, sure. He's not saying a word. Yeah. But I would say that his his habit of doing that, unlike very much unlike a DeSantis, for instance, uh, doesn't serve him that well. So Laura's friendly, and he's not going to get in trouble there. But be careful taking the premise of the question that you're given and just running. Yeah, someone's going to someone's going to stick Nick Fuentes in at your table, and you're not going to know exactly. anything there. That, that's exactly. the screening. The screening has to go on in that question, and the problem is. Um, most electeds, not just the former president, they hate saying, I don't know who that is. Now, I am very famous for saying, I have no idea what you're talking about, because I think that's like the only way to survive in radio when someone uses, a, there's a new term today, I was going to ask you about it. Have you ever heard of of Kratom, K-R-A-T-O-M? Kratom, yes. Like as a substance? You have heard of it. Well, I, there's a story about it in the post today that it is used for pain or anxiety and sometimes death follows. So I said, huh? And it's another thing for young suburban moms to worry about. Hey, where had you heard about it before? I'm familiar with Kratom and Kava. Uh, both of them are sort of uh, a little bit altering, mood altering substances that make you more relaxed. And they're sort of sold at uh, marijuana type shops. So I'm familiar with them, but don't have experience. I didn't okay, think that they were Kratom. never heard of unsafe things about them before those two well yeah they're, they're fatal they're, they're they're the one of it's been banned in six states and i never heard of it until this morning and i'm just curious as the mother of many youngsters what are you going to do about a one pill can kill society that was never actually anything it took a lot of beer to kill someone when i was a kid i mean it was almost impossible even if to quote the, the great alan simpson back when we thought beer was food it took a lot of beer to kill someone that's not true anymore yeah, I mean, my kids actually first, just for the first time, asked about what drugs were the other day, and we had a conversation about it. I grew up in a time of uh, Lynn Bias's death. That was the big oh uh, yeah lesson for everyone front and center. That happened, you know, in my in the triangle. So that was a really big deal, and it gave the impression that your first time that can happen. So I think that was very influential for me. Um, and I want to be rational about the risks of various things and not scare them to death. And yet fentanyl is something that perhaps you need to be that scared uh, to never lay hands on. It, all, it also can happen so quickly by accident, which is very concerning. You have no idea what's coming to you uh, thanks to our border situation and how much is flowing across. Well, you, I used to tell my daughter when she was very young, when you're going out on a drink, don't lose sight of your drink. That's that's just a simple thing. That's pretty easy to do. But that's different from anything that anyone can give you at any time can kill you. I don't think we want kids to grow up in that culture. At least I don't think so. What do you think? Uh, no, I do not want them to grow like grow up like that. I want them to be educated about risks, and I want them to have us like this is what how raising your kids with faith and with morals, and you hope that they have this foundation to turn to. Because I explained to them, many people turn to drugs because they don't have the things that you have in your life, uh, like faith, and turning to something that is more foundational uh, than just getting away from it all. So we pray. There's we my pray. focus group of one, not dismissing Tulsi Gabbard. And giving us a preview of the future, mom's talking to kids about not beer, not dope, but crack them, crack them, whatever that's called. Don't go anywhere, America. Thank you, MK Hammer. That's her handle on X, at MK Hammer. 
Listen to her on Getting Hammered with Vic Madison. Come right back. 